Hi, and welcome to this how-to video showing you the process for the deployment of vSphere with Tanzu on VMware Cloud Foundation for the developer-ready infrastructure VMware validated solution using PowerShell. First, I've got a few windows open here. On the right, my VS Code window with a PowerShell terminal at the bottom. On the left, I have a PDF copy of the developer-ready infrastructure VVS along with tabs open to the vSphere client and NSX manager for my workload domain. All right, in my PowerShell terminal, I've already loaded the Power Validated Solutions module. The instructions for doing so are in the documentation, but since this was recorded prior to general availability of the solution, the process was not recorded. For each step, I'm going to copy out of the PDF and paste it into the VS Code window. You don't have to do this. I'm doing it so that we can see what we've done and potentially save it for later use. With the first set of variables copied and pasted into VS Code, we'll update the values for each variable as needed. Using an external editor allows you to do this a little bit more efficiently. With that done, we'll run it in our terminal to set the variables that are used in the add network segment commandlet. We should then be able to copy the add network segment command and run it verbatim if our variables are correct. And that works. You can see from the terminal output that our overlay backed NSX segment was properly instantiated. The next thing we'll do here is follow the same steps as the last, but this time we're going to create an IP prefix list with a specific configuration on the already existing tier 0 gateway in NSXT data center. Update the variables, run it in terminal, and everything looks good. Following these steps for the remainder of the PowerShell enabled tasks allows you to complete the solution deployment process, significantly speeding up your time to deployment for the developer ready infrastructure VMware validated solution. Thanks for watching.